It's a new day. Yes, it is. What's going on everybody? King of Dragons 5000 here coming at you with another figure review. Today we'll be having a look at the Mattel WWE Elite Series 53 Biggie. Really excited we finally have Biggie in hand. Been waiting for this figure ever since we had a look at the other two members of the New Day. He does come with his entrance jacket and the unicorn horn and as always the display base which I really don't care for. On the side we have an image of Biggie right here. Same image right here on the back. Big E is 5'11", weighs 285 pounds from Tampa, Florida. Ring attire is from Clash of Champions, September 25th, 2016. Signature moves, the, night, the midnight hour with one of the other members, and the big ending courier highlights. Longest reigning WWE Tag Team Champion, Raw Tag Team Champion, SmackDown Tag Team Champion, Intercontinental Champion, and NXT Champion. Other figures of this line do include Kevin Owens, Chris Jericho, The Miz, Heath Slater, and Alexa Bliss. With that out of the way, guys, let's actually take a little break, get this guy opened up, and then we'll go on to the rest of his review. So sit tight, everyone. And so here we have Big E posing out of the packaging. Before we get on to the figure, let's actually show off his display stage. He does come with the display stand that we've seen before. Cardboard cutout that's going in the trash. Really love this cutout, or the display stand. With that out of the way, let's actually have a look at Big E now. And I have to say... Really, really happy I have Big E. The only Big E figure I actually have is his first release back when he was Big E Langston. But really nice that I have an updated Big E to go into my collection. And I really like this attire. Like, I've been really excited for it ever since I picked up Kofi and Xavier Woods. Let's actually move on to his art our accessories. Just like with all the other members of the New Day, he does come with a unicorn horn which is done in this black plastic and the horn is painted blue and you can see it does fit over him his head really nicely so now he has the unicorn horn and then his final accessory is his entrance vest coat I'm gonna call it his entrance coat and it isn't the softest plastic but it does come off the only problem is that Big E is such a wide figure that it's a little tricky getting the jacket off. Let's see if I can't do this on camera. There we go. And once it's off, we have the jacket here. You can see we have the unicorn running through, I'm guessing the... I don't know what that is, but we have the sparkles, which are painted really well. Uh, the decal could have gone all the way to the sleeve on both sides, but... From a distance, you don't really don't notice it. Really love the way the sparkles came out. You can see it says New Day on the back. It's a little light right here on the hindquarters of the unicorn. You can see some of the paint is peeking through, which is a little unfortunate even right here. You can see the decals aren't as thick as they should be. But it's not that big of a deal that I'm going to knock the figure and say you shouldn't get this figure. I really do like this, so let's move those off to the side. And here we have Big E ready to wrestle. And I have to say, as much as I like Kofi and Xavier's attire, of course I'm going to love this one. It looks really, really nice. I do like the orange that they went with. It actually matches Kofi and Xavier Woods really well. On mine, there seems to be a little bit of black paint right here. Let's actually show that really fast. Uh, yeah, it's actually on there, but... It's actually coming off the more I do that, so I'm guessing I just had to scratch a little bit and it'll come off. Let's have a look at his attire first before we have a look at his face. It's a little unorthodox, but let's actually have a look at it. Really like the orange and blue. They complement each other really, really well. You can have use the, the unicorn right here as well as the New Day logo. Really interesting that the New Day chose unicorns. I don't know why. We have his unicorn boots, which look really fantastic. I, you have no complaints there. And let's actually have a look at his face. Now, it is a far cry better than the first Big E figure that was ever released. 
if I had to choose, I would say they should have gone with a really happy, over-the-top expression biggie. That's probably the biggie I would like to have in my collection. But it's still a really nice-looking figure. Now, my one and only gripe is that his torso is actually molded in orange. You can actually see right here. That's the base color of the plastic. Now they did a really good job matching skin tone with the actual plastic skin tone. Normally it's really obvious. On Biggie you really can't tell so it's not that big of a deal. So overall really really liking this figure. Let's actually move the camera out so we can go on to Biggie's articulation. Biggie actually has the standard elite articulation that you've come to expect from WWE elite figures. If you don't know what that is, let's run through it really fast. He has a ball jointed head. He can look up pretty well. He can look down decently. He can tilt his head side to side, so I really do like that. We do get head rotation, so he moves left and right. Pretty good movement in his head in general. Arms on a ball joint go out to about that far. This arm's a little stiff. Diff. Okay, that went down. He has bicep swivel, which works pretty good. He has a single bend in the elbow. Again, works really nice. He has a swivel and a hinge in the wrist. He has a torso crunch that goes back about that far, forward about that far. It's not the best range, but what do you expect from Big E? On mine, if you've noticed, the waist is really, really loose here. Unfortunately, there's really not much I can do without cracking the torso, which I don't intend to do that. So, unfortunately, Biggie will forever have a loose waist. Biggie's legs go forward only about that far because of how his body is sculpted. You can see his legs really don't go out that far. They do go out to the side pretty good. He spins at the thigh. He is double jointed in the knee. No problems there. Swivel at the boot. He has a hinge in the ankle, although mine is really, really stiff and I can't get that ankle going. I moved it just a tiny bit, but he does have an ankle hinge as well as very little ankle pivot, so that's a little bit unfortunate. But anyway, that's Big E for you guys. So what we're going to do now is take a little break. Get him posed for my final thoughts, and then we'll wrap up this review, so sit tight, everyone. So here we have Big E posed for my final thoughts. Overall, I really do like the way this figure came out, and I really love the color scheme that the New Day has in these Elite figures. Now, if you're wondering what he looks like posed next to his New Day brothers, you can see right here. They look really fantastic as a team. If you haven't already picked up Xavier Woods and Kofi Kingston, I really recommend you do. They just look so awesome together, and... You can do so much with these guys. It looks so good when you have all three of them together. Now, I actually found Big E at Toys R Us. I was just going in there with my brother, looking around. I actually found Big E. I found the entire wave almost passed on Big E because I couldn't find him. But thankfully, we looked through the shelves and we actually found Big E. And I just had to pick him up and add him to my collection. Now, if you are looking for Elite 53, they are starting to hit stores now. I found the first batch at Toys R Us. I'm guessing that they're going to be hitting stores everywhere in the next few days, weeks. So if you haven't already found Big E or any of the members of the New Day, go out there, find these guys. You're going to want to have them in your collection. With that being said, guys, I'm King of Dragons 5000. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, subscribe to, the, to this channel. Tell me what you think of Big E or the New Day figures in general. If you like them, if you hate them. Do you think they should have had a different color scheme? Let me know down in the comments and, you know, maybe we can have a discussion on that. But anyway, don't forget to check out all my other WWE Elite reviews, as well as all my other action figure reviews. I try to have something up every weekday, so hopefully you guys enjoy the content I've been putting out. And as always, if there's a figure you would like to see me review, let me know down in the comments. And if it fits in my collection, I'll definitely have a look at it. And until next time, guys, I'll see you later. Take care, everyone.